Hey everybody, Adjective Gaming here. So I wrote a simple Python script that scans a list of 45,000 video games, and it chooses a game for me to play at random. This is Roulette's Play. I was actually thinking about taking the week off because it's my birthday. And I decided to roll just to see, you know, what I'd get. And I ended up rolling a masterpiece. The Last Bounty Hunter. Four words. Live. Action. Laser disc. Video game. So tell me something. Are you ready for the future of entertainment, boys? Well, here it is. Or here it was. This shit was made in 1994. Some people say while playing this game, you truly find out who you really are deep down inside. Also, this game is horribly rendered, so enjoy. The Last Bounty Hunter is a on-rails shooter. Just think of Time Crisis. Or the poor man's version of Time Crisis, Virtua Cop. They didn't even have enough money to buy an L. But within this game, instead of shooting low-poly models and trying to save the world from certain annihilation, you're shooting low-poly actors in a Wild West reenactment town. There's a whole slew of memorable characters, like the Gravediggers with rapey undertones. Good thing you're a lousy shot, or we'd have never met. He's, he's talking to my corpse. <laughs> the town physician who only wants money. Unless you're willing to pay. And the bounty hunter's chicken nugget hand. Also guest starring Disappearing Horse. And of course, we can't forget the four main bosses of this game. We have Handsome Harry. He likes to fuck. We have Nasty I mean, Dan. Nasty he likes Dan. to fuck. Bounty His daughter. Like also starring El Loco. I'm 90% sure he's a Mexican, but just an old Jewish man that's lost. And the Cactus Kid. So let me give you the grand tour of this abomination of a game. So the default first character is Handsome Harry. He likes the fuck, if you remember. He owns a bank and a casino. Also, he's a lawyer. One of the saddest moments in my life is that I had to memorize these uh, bank bandit attack patterns and where they pop out of. After you finish that section, uh, it gets a little bit more interesting when you enter the casino whorehouse. And may I say goddamn, those 144p tits are on point. They are legit bounty hunter. Don't you, Adam. And the gunfight at the bar is pretty entertaining. It's kind of disconcerting that the patrons in there don't give a shit about you firing weapons off at people. So outside the whorehouse is the sheriff. But don't you worry, he gets murdered in daylight, not by me. And then... The toughest enemy in the game shows up. He's a, he's a basic enemy. He killed me multiple times. Like, I, I can't count how many times I restarted the game. He's like an incarnation of an 80s bully. He just laughs. He was so powerful. His death caused uh, graphic errors within the game. Spectacular. I think I just witnessed history. And I did somehow miraculously made it to Handsome Harry. And he makes a point that he's unarmed. I'm unarmed. It's probably a trick. But no, he just dies. It made me feel really bad. So I'm gonna be honest, I didn't make it far in um, the other levels. I seriously got to the end of Nasty Dan, but then at, at, right before I got to the end, I shot a bad guy, he was eating like beans or something, and then it counts it as a civilian death, so it gave me a game over. What the fuck? Then other levels just have straight up impossible hitboxes. Alright, so I couldn't finish this game on the account of the terrible controls, but ultimately I didn't have enough time, and I gave up. I want to invoke some sort of birthday rule where we can just make that this game never existed and I get a free pass where I don't have to complete this game. 